How's it going, Forex traders? Welcome back to yet another fantastic segment of Trader Talk. Now, for those of you guys who've been following my channel for the longest, give me a sec, my camera needs to be adjusted properly. There we go. <laughs> so for those of you who've been following my channel for the longest, you know this segment is exactly where I go into my computer and I break down the charts. Yes, I go into my computer and I look at the most realistic trading opportunities that you guys can trade alongside me. Now, over the last three weeks, we've been able to make all our predictions. Pretty much, I think all our predictions since the beginning of the year, this is May now, since January, we have been correct, spot on. We haven't really had any losses. All our predictions have come to play. If you're doubting me, you can check our previous videos, rather my previous videos on YouTube. But over the last three weeks, myself and the Forex Mastery students, the ones that took the trades that I told them to take, obviously announced them on my YouTube channel, have gone on to make a significant amount of money. As it stands right now, I don't really need to trade for the rest of the year because I've made a lot of money shorting GBPUSD and BTC as well. And obviously, all your long trades have been fantastic as well. So the question today is, now that our trades have hit target are there more any trading opportunities what do we do at this point do we not trade do we trade and stuff like that. that's exactly what i want to discuss and then obviously i'm going to be breaking down the charts and i have one very nice trade set up for you guys which is gold i feel like it's going to drop and uh, i want to discuss the setup with you guys but before i jump into the chat as always first things first if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and smash the subscribe button down there if you found this video helpful drop me a comment but even before I jump into the charts, I always want to say a special shout out to the Forex Mastery students because the community is growing. Everybody on YouTube now, it's like if you don't, if you're not a Forex Mastery student, if you have, they don't have the course, it's like you're missing out as we speak. So I want to say a big shout out to every single one of you who have taken that uh, investment in your education to jump on the program. I respect you guys very much. And for those of you who have already started making a lot of money, there you go. I know a lot of people, I know people who joined maybe a month ago, took the course, took the trades that I told them to take and have already recovered the money and more, 10 times more um, than what they actually invested in their education. So for those of you who haven't already grabbed the program, the link is going to be down here as always or around here. But enough about all of that. Let's jump into the charts. Let's look at what we can trade for the weeks ahead. Let us go. How's it going, people? Welcome inside of my screen. So today we're gonna kick off with the amazing GBPUSD that dropped off the cliff. Yes, GBPUSD, as you can see in front of you. Um, <clears throat> right here, I'm just simply highlighting my entries. Rather, I'd highlighted my entries and stuff like that. I'm just gonna delete this. So what had happened? Let me quickly give you guys a quick recap on GBPUSD and how we were able to make. I mean, I caught GBPUSD shorts from this level about here. Uh, my entries were somewhere about here, 1.317. And the market, obviously, my overall targets were all the way down at 1.219. Um, so that's roughly about a 1,000 pip drop. Um, so this is exactly what I mean whereby, this is exactly what I mean when I say that the top-down analysis, obviously, what I teach on the Forex Mastery Program is you know foolproof meaning that this will actually um show you guys what exactly is about to happen in the future i keep preaching that what happens on higher time frame is what's going to play out on the lower time frame whatever it is you see happening on the lower time frame is exactly what um you know is happening on the higher time frame meaning that whatever is going to happen on lower time frame the higher time frame will tell you first and as you can see from our previous analysis i project projected gbp usd to drop to 1.2 to 0, 00 however i did have some intermediary targets um somewhere about here my 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 initial target for this um <clears throat> was actually around here because of the touch of this trend line and as you can see we came smashed it guys this is a huge drop i actually have been predicting gbp usd from the top but i was unable to find a decent entry around here you know you guys i always come on here and be honest with you guys and tell you guys what exactly it is i was thinking and how i was perceiving the market now why why and how did i know gbp usd was going to come all the way down here now you have to understand that we have attempted to break this level as you can see said one this is triple bottom and this is a double top now <clears throat> forex mastery students you guys know what happens at a double top um, especially at a key level now if you go on module 
six, which is trend reversals of the Forex Mastery Program, you will hear me talk about um, trend reversals at key levels. So what that simply means is if I see a, a chart pattern form at a major level on a high time frame, chances are that that market is most likely going to reverse. As you can tell, this market was in an uptrend from 2000 and uh, this is 2020, 11th of May, all the way up until June the following year. So for about 13 months, we were in an uptrend. Now, how did I know that this uptrend was going to come to an end and reverse all the way to the downside? Once again, my YouTube videos are here to educate, to teach. I'll try and share as much as possible. Anything I can't share, you're going to have to get it on the Forex Mastery Program, but I'll share as much as I can here. Now, um, why did this market collapse? For two reasons, the double top. Secondly, we had a, a head and shoulder pattern form at this key level. So I'm like, all right, cool. What do you do? You draw your trend line. Now we broke the trend line and we all know, I mean, not like we all know, but price action states that once the neckline of a key, or once the neckline of a of a chart pattern is broken, breached. So this is a neckline. This is left shoulder, right shoulder head. Once it is breached, like this, and we come back in to test it, and we start heading lower. What that simply means is that that trend has been violated, and we have started heading downwards. Now. Like I said, I couldn't really get a decent entry around here. It wasn't until the market actually came down here and had actually started, you know, showing me from some significant lower lows and lower highs. And then obviously I used one of our entry strategies that I teach on the Forex Mastery Program to jump onto the trade. Now, um, I'm just quickly recapping this. I'm not here to brag about how much money I made, but as I'm sure you can tell, a thousand pips, um, even if I was trading ten dollars a lot which is quite small that's still ten thousand dollars i did make a signal actually this single trade has pretty much wrapped up my hair for me this is may um with the amount of money we've made from the market from gbp usd shorts gold long and bitcoin shorts i don't really think i'll be trading for the rest of the year because we've actually hit our target for the year but i will be coming on here to analyze and maybe trade here and there but this just goes to show you the power of the top-down analysis once i placed my trade i mean it took what one two three four five six weeks for the market to hit our target some people are like oh i don't want to that's too long think about it this way hmm? I clicked the market once and for throughout that six week period, I didn't need to trade because the market was just making money for me every single day. It just kept on falling in my favor. Fall. Every time I opened my chart, the market was just dropping, 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 dropping. So this is exactly what I always try and you know, teach the students on the Forex Mastery Program. I'm like, hey, listen, you know, less is more in this game. You don't have to always be in front of your screen. All you need to do is analyze from a higher time frame, do the top-down analysis, project 1,000 pips into the future, scale down to the lower time frame, use the strategy that I teach you guys on the program, and then enter the trade in that direction. And you can pretty much benefit from all of these pips. Now, that being said, what is the next for GBPUSD? Now, usually what happens is, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, what happens, um, or rather, what, what I like to do is, Whenever it is I've been able to extract, because this is over a thousand pips, a thousand pips I've gotten from GBPUSD. If you're doubting me, check my previous videos. <laughs> Anyways, back to what I was saying. So a thousand pips we've been able to extract. As it stands right now, I'm quite quite content with, with the amount of money I've made from GBPUSD. Will I be looking for more trading opportunities right now? Um, not really, not anytime soon, but I'm just going to have a look at the chart to see what could potentially happen. Now, what could potentially happen? It's quite, it's quite early to say what could potentially happen, but I'll be looking for pullbacks and I'll be monitoring this market to see what exactly happens around this region. As you can see, I'm keeping my charts on a four hour time frame um, just because although I can see some form of a supply zone right about here. I feel that GBPUSD might just maybe fire one more leg down to the back to the downside. It's too early for me to say just yet. I'll be monitoring this, but I'm not going to get greedy and obviously start looking for trading opportunities on GBPUSD as we speak. I will just be monitoring this market and I'll also keep a very close eye out for this head and shoulder that might potentially form about here. So like I say, this market isn't ripe yet. It doesn't know if it wants to go up test here or if it wants to come down regardless of whatever happens i'll be monitoring it i'll be keeping a close eye on for gbp USD so i can come on here and update you guys sorry guys i'm speaking a bit fast um to be honest when i 
my comments were going crazy. Everybody was like, you haven't dropped a video in a while. You haven't dropped a video in a while. I'm like, okay, let me drop a video. I've actually been really exhausted. There are a lot of things going on in my life, business-wise. You know, it's, it's, we're trying to grow. We're trying to expand. We're trying to invest into other business ventures. You know, so sometimes, you know, doing videos can be quite stressful. But as always, I'm dedicated to you guys. And thank you guys for always watching the videos. And I appreciate you guys. So enough about GBPUSD. Um, the same thing happened with Bitcoin. Um, we're able to forecast Bitcoin. So my short levels for Bitcoin were about here at 343k. My overall target was what 30k. So all of this, fantastic. I've been able to eat all of our pips. Um, doubting me once again, check my previous videos. I called it live here. Now, in regards to Bitcoin, what's going to happen next for Bitcoin? At the moment, Bitcoin is looking really dangerous. I won't lie to you guys. The next level that could hold for Bitcoin is 19K. If that happens, a lot of people are going to get wiped out. Now, I know a lot of people who are, who are holding Bitcoin. Um, the only thing that is holding Bitcoin right now is this trend line. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So let's just watch Bitcoin and see if this trend line should hold. Ideally, I'll be looking for a bullish engulfing weekly candle. If we can jump back into here, I see no reason why Bitcoin shouldn't shoot up to 44K. However, if we break this trend line clearly, or more 19k is it will <laughs> you got 19k man so this is exactly what's holding bitcoin and regardless of whichever way we go once i can guys this is how i trade and this is how i teach on the forex mastery program by the way for those of you guys who haven't grabbed the program the link is always around here somewhere or check the link in the description if you're nigerian we always drop a pay stack link on the payment page um to help you guys out because i know you guys are having difficulties paying from your country but from if you're from anywhere else around the world just click the link you see it grab the forex mastery program there just go on there and then put in your card details and check on and the course gets delivered to your inbox anyways back to what i was saying so for me it's very simple and straightforward all i need is a clear direction okay at the moment i've been able to make all this pips all the way down here we've got into this point this is a decision point i'm out of the market i like to trade from zone to zone we've got into a key zone the market is struggling i'm out um, i'll be waiting for this market to tell me what he wants to do next do we want to give a bullish engulfing candle here if that's the case then i know that we want to point higher and we want to head higher okay so um guys give me a sec sorry about that guys i had to quickly uh something was um, distraction going on anyways back to what i was saying so for me once i'm able to see a clear direction on btc then i will then be able to reanalyze and see what exactly is happening now why i'm actually here today is actually gold right gold is the guy of the day gold is what i want to trade at the moment gold this i keep saying i'm done trading for the year but the guys the trading opportunities just seem to be presenting themselves and they look quite juicy now why am i interested in gold i'll tell you why i'm interested in gold i'll tell you why i'm interested in gold at the moment um give me a sec let's see this is this is a trend line for gold anyways back to what i was saying in regards to gold now i have a trade setup that looks nice but the problem with the trade setup is that now guys as you know i would always come on here and tell you exactly how it is okay um no need to sugarcoat anything if i have a problem with it if i have a concern with a particular setup i will let you know if i feel the setup is fantastic good to go i'll also let you know now i saw a nice setup on gold but i'm a bit i'm a bit wary of the setup because this trend line is holding the market at the moment but i'll just quickly explain to you guys what exactly is happening there's a clear double top on gold as we speak now um usually once it's a double top the market would obviously as it's come on here it needs to come and test the base of this market so what this simply means is that we've kicked off from this zone so twenty thousand not twenty thousand two thousand and thirty dollars per ounce the market is has been making potential lower lows and lower highs we're coming here most almost definitely 1745 so i'm 80 sure we're going to come down here now we've come shy of this level i like i usually this, this these are one of my favorite ways to trade i like a situation whereby i've been able to anticipate the zone to zone movement and then the market stops midway 
I call it, it stopped at the bus station to pick up passengers. So from what I can see here, we stopped midway to pick up passengers and then um, this is my opportunity to jump in. Then I then scale to a lower time frame, like a four hour time frame and look for potential entries. And as you can see, um, I can see obviously the market pulling back into this green bar. Um, which also coincides with what some minor levels as well. So if I just adjust this properly, like so, I'm just going to put this bar here. Okay. So and this is also a supply level as well. So I just put this around here. So as you can see, we're pulling into here for a potential drop down here. Um, so I would simply come on a four-hour time frame and then I would look for trading opportunities. And as you can see. This market seems to be flagging pretty nicely. So even if I came on a one hour time frame, you can see that this market seems to be flagging pretty nicely. Okay, so what I'm then going to do is I'll come to the four hour time frame and then I'm going to map, map it out properly because I don't like the way it looks. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this. So it's simple, guys. For gold, um, I'm anticipating some downside movement for gold. My entries will be based on a break of this counter trend line. As, as you can see, I'm not drawing my counter trend line too close to the market. I'm obviously drawing. You can you can execute your trade on a one hour time frame. And this is when people ask me, oh, Daps, can I use your strategy on lower time frame? Of course. But we need to, first of all, establish some very key factors on a higher time frame first, okay, which is um, the direction of the market. So at the moment, I'm expecting gold to pull back into this yellow bar. Don't sell at the yellow bar. Wait for a bounce. I'll need to see a four-hour bounce, a four-hour bearish engulfing candle off of this level. Um, obviously, a break of this, but the bearish engulfing candle needs to be strong. Break down here. And you guys always know my first level targets will be at 100% retracement and then um, we'll obviously see some bleeding to the downside. So I'm favoring gold to reach here and break down here. My pro probabilities of that happening is about 80%. The remaining 20% as I always like to leave room for anything if we happen, you understand? We can break to the upside, okay? But 80% to the downside. But my criteria is very simple. Bearish engulfing candle off of this major level, break this counter trend line. My first level targets will be here and overall targets will be here. So if we do this correctly, 16, 1863, um, so just we're looking at about maybe another 900 pips. You see? Easy. Like in three minutes, this is the power of Forex Mastery Program and top down analysis, ladies and gentlemen. In three minutes, there you go. You break down the charts quick time in three minutes. Okay. So there you have it, guys. Um, I think that's all I have to share um, for gold. Um, yeah, that's all I have to share for gold. I wanted to keep this as brief as possible so that you guys don't get bored. Once again, thank you for staying to the very end of this very lengthy video. I'll catch you guys in my other screen. Um, I have more videos coming out for you guys. I just wanted to do a quick technical breakdown. Uh, we're working on a lot for the YouTube channel and updates to the Forex Mastery program as well. I know I've been saying that for a bit, but now I actually have the time to do so. Once again, I'll see you guys on my other screen. Let's go. And there you have it, guys. Thank you for staying to the very end of this very lengthy. It wasn't that long, actually. Thank you for staying to the very end. I hope I've been able to shed light on the trades that I took before and obviously the gold trade that I feel is lining up and could be quite juicy and profitable for you guys. Um, do I have anything else to share with you guys? I think that's about it, guys. I'm going to be leaving you guys very soon. Um, what else do I want to share with you guys? I think that's about it. Shout out to the Forex Mastery students once again. I love you guys very much. And if you haven't already subscribed, just subscribe down below. If you haven't grabbed the program, click the link down below. And that's it, guys. That's my time. That whole Willis once again. Take it easy and peace.